Hey guys, it's Goldstein here. Today is a very sacred day. It's a day that needs to be shown absolute respect. It's up to us to memorialize, to remember, and to safeguard the memory of all of those warriors that have given everything in their power, their life and their future, ever seeing their children again, ever having children, ever hugging their family again. They did that proudly, with honor and respect, so you can have freedom and you can be American. Whether you believe in wars or not, it's irrelevant. This crosses all political boundaries. This crosses all national, religious, racial lines. This is simple respect for those that have given everything. But on top of those that have made that ultimate sacrifice, we have to reach out today to their brothers and to their sisters who, who were there when it happened, who, who saw this happen, who couldn't do anything beyond their power to save their friends, to save their brothers and sisters. We have to show them respect, not just by saying thoughts and prayers are with you. That's lovely. But come on. Physically and emotionally reach out to our veterans today. They need it. So many of them are on a ledge right now. So many you can't even count. But they don't have to be because we love them and we respect them so much that our souls call out that we're ready to actually physically make a difference in their lives today. Can you do that? Can you? In Israel, the entire nation stands up. Stands up out of respect. We close our eyes and we pray and we think and we meditate and then we go to the cemeteries and then we go to the houses of those that have lost we make it a real day of respect, a real memorial day. Shamor v'zachor. Remember it and guard it. Because if you don't, this day is lost. God bless our veterans. God bless and rest the souls of those that have given everything, including friends of mine. Respect this day. Or shame on us all. God bless you all. God bless America.